round two, game one. And look, we've got a good hand. What's this? What's this? Uh, amazing. Another white player. Got all the lands as well. Got all the lands. So, timed out a guy in the last round. Let's see what JR Doran has for us on this time. He's got a silver chase fox. This is what he's got. Let's play that guy. Pass the old turn. Block that guy if he comes in. So white red. A bit more aggro y. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play down the forest and let's play down uh, this uh, guy. He's red, so he's probably got a lot of guy lot of uh, burn to deal with him. But oh well, looks like we're having the opposite game of that other one by the way. Can't block. No. More damage coming through. Definitely more aggro. Jugs. Decent. Decent. Uh, you get the swarm down now. Play him down. all good. Glad we got jugs. Fits in most decks. So well costed for my for my in my opinion. Four mana is nice. What have we got on turn five? in the tank. He took a minute before he realised he was playing in the last last one. Yeah, just that, okay. Guess we should start start attacking with the Dune Traveller then. Do 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 what's this? Silver Claw Griffin. Got some flyers. Bell ringers. Bow bow bow. Bah, bah, bah. Yep, I can start attacking with the traveler now. Uh, let's get the Cathar down. Mm hmm. Now we're on twelve already. I don't have a lot of flying defense, which is a problem. Definite problem. Taps the mountain, untaps the mountain. What's he thinking? <laughs> yep. No? That's yes, combat damage. <coughs> Not your main phase. What is it really? Thraben Sentry? Sure. That's kind of annoying. Blocks jugs a couple of. Once, once it flips. Oh, more stuff. Torch Fiend. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I wonder why I just didn't do that and. Go. Go for it. Oh yeah, because I don't... Oh yeah, I should probably... Mm. Since it's going to die next turn, I should get my uh, Juggernaut attacking once more. It's not like I'm going to be... It's 
doing anything with that. What can we do here? Oh, the Cathar can go in. It seems a good little thing to do. Still, the main thing is just the flies, though. I'm gonna lose to those, I'm pretty sure, unless I draw something. Unless I draw my uh, first striker dude. Out of Cathar dies, should I put the counters on a token or put this out of range of. Uh... Oh, it's not going to die anyway. Uh, I guess I get midnight down. <laughs> Flyers coming in, I suppose. Actually, it could destroy my uh, jugs and go with the militia, then I'd have to block with a few things. No. Maybe it's just not twigging that this is like an artifact. <laughs> Let's get this guy. While I remember. Butcher's Cleaver. What does that do? <laughs> Guess there's some lifelink. And it'll get the most lifelink. If we put it on, actually no, it can just destroy it, can't it? Yeah. It's kind of annoying. Do we have enough just to roll on and win? Where can we put this? Most life link is on uh, this guy, I guess. Pretty much just have to roll. I haven't done any combat maths, but I've lost next turn if I don't win this turn, so we'll see what happens. How many can we block? Um, three, so it blocks that, that, and that. Actually, no, if we get the life, oh, we should just do that, shouldn't we? Which I guess he is going to do. So we still get through three, five, there. That's enough, isn't it? I think. He said something, but it's disappeared. Yep. Uh, that went decently. Uh, what else can we do? Do 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 do. Uh, that uh, fateful hour was very handy. Um, faith shield. Yeah, I don't know. It seems good enough to me. I'll uh, see you in game two.